prefrontal uh, cortex of your brain actually develops. So you really, like that maturity really gets to a point where it's going to be for the rest of your life. So you actually fully emotionally develop at 25. So that I would say like, don't worry if you're still emotional now. I think with time in itself, it will be okay. But just step away from situations, walk away. Like literally, I will be like, okay, I need a moment to breathe and I'll go cry in the bathroom. Like that has just always been my motto. Even in Vasti, when school is getting rough, the bathroom knows me very well. So um, yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing, Dimi. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. And you know, crying does not mean that you are weak. You cry a lot, but imagine, but you're also in the same breath, a very, an amazing leader, very outstanding. So it's really not bad to cry. It's really not. And then Tandung Yang Kostim Lang was asking, hey, Dimi, how do you know which initiatives to take and when to say, no, this is not for me? Okay. Um, I think that's a very good question. Um, you need to know who you are. You need to know your values. You need to know what you want to get out of this world. And then everything falls into place. Like I have pillars for my life. One pillar of my life that I'm really passionate about is youth development. Because I felt like when I got to varsity, I didn't know what the hell I was doing and no one was going to help me with what the hell I was doing. You know, like there was not, there was no system like that, that was like, hey, let me hold your hand. Or even on my YouTube channel, I speak a lot about like how you should structure your CVs or how, what you should say when you're applying for a graduate program, because I never had that. So because of the things that I lacked, it created my pillar, which then created an initiative that I want to do, which is just developing the youth. So you will find a lot of times that the struggles you had in life will end up being initiatives that you want to connect to, you want to resonate with. Do you know what I'm saying? One of my friends, she grew up in a township. There was no libraries, no community centers. She's very passionate about reading. She's turned that into a situation where her initiative is just helping books get out there, helping literacy get out there. So I think look at some I don't want to say look at some spaces in your life where you felt struggle that you feel like you can pour into now and that will usually be where you have heartstrings to this initiative so you're more likely to take it more seriously and head on to make a change because I know that all of us in this session want to make a change so yeah That is brilliant. That is brilliant, Demi. Awesome questions coming from the girl leaders as well. These are very smart questions that you guys are asking. And then we have a minute left. So does anyone want, like, would like to ask Demi anything? Or Demi, perhaps any last words that you may have? Okay, I'll take that as I can just take the floor. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for this time. I know it was short, but I hope that you got at least one or two pieces of information that you can carry forward with you guys that'll sort of help you guys in your growth, development, becoming girl leaders, and um, you know, helping impact the country. Um, for lack of a better word, because we need a lot of women out there who are willing to take initiative willing to take on leadership roles in all phases of life there's still such a gap for black women um i in real estate investment banking for example it's still a very white male afrikaans dominated field and you know just taking up space as Winnie Tinsey said. And I feel like you guys are doing that by learning these skills and honing this. So thank you so much for listening to me, but thank you so much for the ladies, for the facilitators, and just for everyone for making this happen. Cause I feel like in enriching ourselves, we're enriching so many other black women that are to come. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dimi. That was very impactful. Thank you. Um, when people think about short conversations, they think are uh, minimally impactful, but this was short and yet so direct, so straightforward, and also so very much so impactful. And one last more thank you from Renai Ravel as well, saying thank you so much for your wise words. It's surely impactful. So thank you so much, Dimi. You have been such a pleasant joy um, to our to our to our program, to our organization. So thank you so much. Um, and then now we'll move on. If you would like to stay, Dimi, you can stay, but at half past 11, the girls will be broken out into um, breakout rooms. 
So you can decide to stay before then um, or leave even now. Anything is really fine, but thank you so much for joining us. So I'll just share my screen, girl leaders, and then we can continue. I'm just going to share with you um, the purpose of our, of our session today. So you can know what you can expect. You can know what it is that we will be doing. And then I'll also introduce to you the facilitators that we have with us today. So you can know who's facilitating you, who you'll be with in the group. And I, I bet that these are not new faces. These are people that you already know. And yet they still come with new energy, brand new energy, um, and so much enthusiasm to take you through this session with so much ease. Um, so yeah. Let me just share my screen while at it. Um, and yeah, let's just get started with it. If you can see my screen, can I please just have a thumbs up so I know? Thank you, thank you. There's a thumb up, thumbs up that I see. Awesome. Just taking some bit of time to load, but here we go. Still taking some bit of time, but hopefully, yes, here we go. Perfect. So as you saw, that was Dumi Pitona, our guest speaker with us today. And then now we'll move on right along. So the purpose of this session really is to help you explore the concept of resilience as a leader, because as Dumi discussed with us and showed us, it's very important for you to be resilient. And um, you are going to be facing challenges as a leader and challenges much more normal than, um, than usual. And so you need to learn how to, be, to deal with the challenges and problems that you may face as a leader. And the purpose of this session is really to equip you, to equip you um, with resilience of this sort. We'll also take you through the five hours of resilience um, and help you identify healthy coping mechanisms. Because if you have resilience, but you don't have healthy coping mechanisms, then it's very hard to be resilient because healthy coping mechanisms and resilience go hand in hand. If you have coping mechanisms that are good and productive, then you're able to be easily resilient. So this is what we'll be covering today, the concept of resilience, the five hours of resilience and healthy coping mechanisms. So truly hoping that you're going to learn so much um, because this was prepared in mind uh, with you in mind. And then now moving on forward, we have our gorgeous facilitators um, with us today. Um, we have Matlachonolo, um, Sisanda, Cindy Swa, Nomonde, Zizile, Linda, um, Sibahle as well, and myself, um, who will be with you in the sessions. And the facilitators came with such a brilliant idea because obviously this is our last um, session with you as the mental pilot team. And we decided to say, you know what, let's just make a very fun um, um, introductory video. And in the video, what we do is that we introduce one another, but we introduce one another with our attributes. We introduce one another with what we appreciate about one another and the attributes that we appreciate about one another. So if as you're looking through this video, you'll get to learn um, what your facilitators are like and what their attributes are like. Um, if you cannot hear the video of the sound, which I hope you actually don't, I actually hope you do. If you can't hear it, please just type in the chat and then I'll be able to see it and know. If you can, please also let me know um, so I, I can rest ease, at ease. Um, but here's the video for you.
Dear leaders, I am Paul Shamwebe, and I'll pass on this volunteer facilitator who is incredible, dependable, a great leader, and all around intelligent person. Hello, dear leaders, Mashala Linda here, you're very awesome. And come, facilitator from Limpopo, currently residing in Johannesburg for study purposes. We have in our midst another awesome facilitator, very kind and warm hearted, by the name of Natasha. Hello, girl leaders. My name is Natasha, and I'm passing the phone to a facilitator who is calm, intelligent, and super considerate of other people. Oh, hi everyone. My name is Izile Sangu, and I'm going to give the phone to a girl that's smart, kind, and very beautiful. Hi, Mata Konolo. Hi, I'm Matondo Saleta and I'm passing the phone to a facilitator whose smile and laughter are so contagious, who's so kind and is such a resilient leader. Hi, my name is Sisanda Jafta and I will pass this phone to a facilitator who is resilient, kind and smart. Hi, girl leaders, my name is Namon Dembali and I am giving the phone to a facilitator who is beautiful inside and out, uh, who is smart and very down to earth. Thank you. Hi, my name is Vashengwenya and I'm a facilitator at Girl Leader. I'll be giving this phone to another facilitator who is confident, wow. humble, and a go getter. Hi, guys, my name is Cindy Swazu, one of the mental pilot facilitators, and I'll be passing the phone to someone who is a gorgeous individual, highly enthusiastic, and optimistic member of our team. Hi, girl leaders, I am Portia Mwebri, and I'm passing this phone not to a facilitator, but an organization that has been at the forefront of making sure that women are equipped to become great leaders, women and young girls are taking up space and doing the most with the leadership skills they have. And this is Girl Leader. All right, we, should, we do sure hope that you guys um, enjoyed the video because you really had so much preparing it. Um, and thank you, Sarah, as well for the feedback in terms of affirming one another. Um, yeah, we also had so much fun doing that. So we do hope that you guys also had a very fantastic time. Um, just moving right along on this session. So what is going to happen now is that we're going to break um, out into our breakout rooms with each and in the, each, of, each of our facilitators. Um, and it's very important just to mention that at the end, we kindly ask you to please come back um, to come back in the in the main room um, where you will fill in the, um, the evaluation form so you can graduate. So it's so important for you to fill in the graduation form. Um, at the end, we will come back, we will recuperate into the space, fill in our breakup, fill in our evaluation forms, and then yeah, that will be the end of our mental pilot session. Um, but nonetheless, it's really been lovely having you. And yeah, that's let's just get started into the session. We really hope that you're going to have a fantastic time.